Unit 5, Investing. Module 5.1, Defining Your Investment Goals and Risk Tolerance. What are your goals? Well, this may depend on your age. Younger people typically can have higher risk investments because there is a much longer period of time before they retire. Therefore, these high risk investments may yield higher returns but also more risk of loss of the principal. Diversify. Everybody should have a diverse financial portfolio, including some higher risk and some lower risk investments. Stocks are high risk, but they may offer high returns, whereas bonds and certificates of deposit are lower risk, but offer lower returns. Savings accounts are the lowest risk and offer lowest, the lowest returns. Of course, with savings accounts, certificates of deposit, and most bonds, there may be no loss of risk of the principal, whereas with stocks, you could lose not only the money that you could have earned in interest in a different investment, but also the actual money that you invested. I recommend reading this article from the Securities and Exchange Commission, Financial Navigating in the Current Economy. 10 things to consider before you make investing decisions. Here are some of the points from the article from the Securities and Exchange Commission. Maintaining an emergency fund is very important. In fact, if you don't have an emergency fund, you should put off investing until after you have secured yourself for at least a couple months of your income. I guess one exception might be if your employer offers a match to your 401k contribution, but even then it may be more important to fund your emergency fund. Item number six is particularly important. Credit card debt has a much higher interest rate than whatever interest you can earn from typical investments. Therefore, you should pay off your credit card debt before you begin investing. 